Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound CaHSO3-2. Now here's a little trick. If you have a compound that has three or more different elements, in this case we have four, right? We have calcium, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. If you see that you have three or more different elements, you know you're dealing with at least one polyatomic ion. It's always easiest to spot out the polyatomic and then work from there. But the hard part is that polyatomics are never on the periodic table. You have to memorize these. So I wrote down at the bottom the one that you should memorize because polyatomics, you're never going to escape them. They're always going to come back in chemistry. And this one is kind of an obscure uh, polyatomic. Usually you don't see this one often, but it is a polyatomic nonetheless. HSO3, which always has a negative one charge, is called hydrogen sulfite. Now, some teachers or some professors might have this in two words. So it could be hydrogen you know, space sulfite. Sometimes you see it in one word, or sometimes you'll see HSO3 being as bisulfite. So just check your teacher or professor just to make sure which one they want. But either one is fine with me. I'm going to use hydrogen sulfite as one word. So here's the polyatomic, HSO3, right? And then calcium is the only thing that's left over, and calcium is right here. All of group two are metals, so calcium is a metal. Now all we got to do is just name them out. The metal name comes first, and that name always stays the same. So calcium will just be calcium. Now since I have a polyatomic, that name always stays exactly the same. So if it was hydrogen sulfite down here, or you know, bisulfite or bisulfite, you're just going to replicate that. So this would be hydrogen sulfite, and you're done. Now. You know, just check to see if you need a Roman numeral, but since calcium is not a transition metal, you don't need one. So we're good. So CaHSO32 is just calcium hydrogen sulfide or calcium bisulfide, whichever one you prefer. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Keep studying hard, guys. All right, and I will see you in future lessons. Have a great day. Bye-bye.